Hi, my name is Jennifer Hostler, and I'm one of the pastors here at Washington City Church of the Brethren in Washington, D.C. Just a few blocks from the U.S. Capitol building. Here in July of 2022, I received a phone call on a Monday morning from one of our interfaith partners from a Jewish congregation, Hill Havara. And um, I picked it up, and my community partner said, Jen, I'm here at another church in downtown uh, D.C., and have you heard about these buses? Texas has been sending these buses of asylum seekers to our city. And I said, yes, I heard about them in April, but I didn't know they were still ongoing. And it hadn't really maintained a presence in the news. But um, as my community partner, my interfaith partner told me, uh, buses were continuing to be sent six days a week from Texas to Washington, DC, buses of asylum seekers. And he said, um, basically, there's this group called the Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network, and they've organized several different congregations to serve as reception sites to receive migrants and to have a safe place, a cool place. It was you know, July 2022, and D.C. is very hot, but also a place away from prying eyes and a place to be able to access supplies, food, clothing. And so um, my interfaith partner said, John, this might be a crazy question, but would Washington City Church of the Brethren consider partnering with Hill Havara to do this work and be a reception site on Sundays? And I said, well, my faith community, my faith tradition understands that God works through crazy questions. So yes, we are totally willing to ask the question and I'll take it back to my congregation and see if this is something we can do. And it turned out it was something that we could do. So since July of 2022, we have been welcoming asylum seekers at our congregation uh, just a few blocks from the U.S. Capitol building and initially that looked like receiving buses on Sundays from um, from July to December uh, that looked like receiving buses on Sundays or serving as a sort of mini respite for folks who um, a place to get food and to receive clothes for folks who maybe had made their way some other means to Washington DC or who were lodging in temporary hotel lodging funded by the city but then starting in January of 2023 December January over Christmas and New Year's we received several buses and we became one of two bus reception sites for the city in both collaboration with Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network and in a, an agreement with the District of Columbia in order to serve as a bus reception site and migrant welcome center. Things have changed a lot along the way and now we are um, in a new phase of our congregation's work for migrants. Hi, I'm Reverend Nicole Crouch. I serve here at Washington City Church of the Brethren as the site manager for our partnership with the city for the Welcome Center and receiving buses from Texas and Arizona. When these buses arrive, migrants come really with only the clothing that they have on their backs and sometimes not even shoes. So we set up a donation room here so migrants will come through and select a few outfits for their journey. Some of them journey onward to family or sponsors and some of them choose to stay and make their home in DC. And so we are seeking to welcome them with dignity and help them to the next phase of their journey here. Uh, so in our donation room, we have the basics like new underwear, socks, shoes. In the winter, we had a lot of winter coats, uh, which was a highly sought after item and uh, a lot of shirts and never enough men's pants. We did not plan on having a room full of clothes at our congregation. We said yes to receiving buses of migrants, and then when we received our, our first bus together with Hill Havara, the Jewish congregation that we partner with, um, we realized that people were coming with nothing. And so um, Hill Havara hosted a donation drive that ended up getting widely spread throughout the community, and we were they were somewhat inundated in a good way with clothing. Not having their own building, they said, Jen, is there any way that we can have some of these items at COB, at least temporarily. And of course I said yes. And then from there, it turned into this um, place of community giving and donation and generosity where we were able to welcome folks to get clean underwear or gently used shoes to be able to have those on site for while people need it the most. There's been a lot of change and fluctuation in the circumstances in the 
political situation, both locally in Washington, D.C., and federal immigration policy since we've just begun, begun this work last July. And once again, we're in another phase of our work. We had been the bus reception site, uh, um, one of two, partnering together with another congregation from January to May. And just the other week, we learned that the city has moved all of the bus reception to their own permanent um, city-run, solely city-run bus reception site. We are continuing to partner with local congregations, um, Jewish and Christian, as well as with our core partner, the Migrant Solidarity Mutual Aid Network, a group uh, collective of many different networks and community groups in Washington, D.C. We're partnering with all these folks to discern what exactly is next, what are the best ways that we can use our strengths um, as a congregation to be able to serve asylum seekers and welcome some of our newest neighbors who are looking for hope, looking for asylum, looking for a safe place to reside in our city. We don't know what is coming next. As we film this, we're still trying to figure that out, but we trust that God is faithful and that when we are walking forward in faith, we can continue to find ways to be Jesus in our neighborhoods, to welcome our neighbors with dignity and solidarity and the love of God.